purported investigative documentary churned out by a media organization on the alleged auctioning of confiscated vehicles at some garages at the Tema Port cast slayer on the government machinery. The report also cited the then member of the Confiscated Assets Committee, Frank Berquin, who is also the Director of Political Affairs at the Office of the President for engaging in conflict of interest and other more feasances. The report further alleged that in 2017, Frank Berquin influenced the sale of 151 cars to alleged cronies, thereby declining the revenue base of the GRA in the year under review because the right charges were not paid. This development prompted further investigation to establish the reality. This compelled journalists to visit the Customs Division, the arm mandated for revenue collection of import duties, sale of confiscated goods to government. Here, sources buttress the sale of confiscated goods with legislative instruments. Section 53 of the Customs Act 2015, Act 891 mandates the Commission to sell uncleared goods through public auctioning in accordance with prescribed directives. Clauses 1, 2, 3, and 4 of the same Section 53 makes provision for depositing the imported uncleared goods at state-owned warehouse where the supposed importer is made to bear the full cost of the number of days the goods were kept there. Vehicles and containers are of no exemption. Importers who are unable to pay duties to clear their vehicles and containers at the port after 60 days are confiscated by the state and later auctioned. This is to enable the state to accrue some revenue to fund developmental projects. The auction fee is deemed equal to the import duty charged. However, damaged vehicles caused by accidents imported into the country have their auction price reduced due to their value depreciations. Subsection 1 of Section 93 of the Customs Act 2015, Act 891, guarantees auction be done solely on the directive of the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority while also determining duty fees. The duty for this 2018 Dodge Charger at the Atlas Terminal duty charge is estimated at 74,853 CDs. However, checks with the Customs Division indicates that the auction fee was drastically slashed to 5,000 CDs, yet it has failed to attract buyers because of its mangled state. Several automobiles suffer the same fate at the designated garages at the port. Sources with the port further revealed that prices of confiscated goods, which include vehicles, are rather reduced considering their actual states. This provision is backed by Section 105, Subsection 2 of the Customs Act 2015, Act 891, which states that the Commissioner General shall assess the damage sustained by the goods and may allow abatement of the duty in proportion to the damage. If this is the case, then it presupposes that the investigative reportage churned out was misleading. In the Commercial and Industrial Bulletin published on Tuesday, September 24, 2019, shows that there are 950 vehicles, motorbikes and containers across the country due for auction. The Atlas Terminal in Tema alone hosts 70 overstayed and 33 unmanifested vehicles, while another garage, Safe Bond, has 209 cars, 299 uncleared containers, and 20 motorbikes. 57 vehicles are also pending auction at the Kotoka International Airport. The regions also hold similar figures. 34 vehicles were seized in Koforidria, 20 vehicles at Safe Bond, and 66 at the Long Room in Takwadi. 20 vehicles at the Cape Coast Police Workshop Yard, while 6 vehicles and 4 containers are due for auction in Tsunyani, 10 vehicles in Elubu, 13 in Ho, and 9 motorbikes in Wa. The Ashanti Regional Capital Kumasi holds 80 confiscated vehicles, which are equally due for auction. Nonetheless, the state of these vehicles determines the price they will go for during public auctions or allocations to individuals. A new directive containing a letter issued and signed by Colonel Kojo Damwa, Acting Commissioner, Customs Division on December 12, 2019, demands that 30% of auction goods be made available to the general public and 70% to the confiscated assets committee. The statement further indicates that the reserved price of auction goods shall be twice the duties payable plus 50% of the value of the assets. In the case where the original owner becomes the beneficiary of the auction, 
the reserve price shall no longer be twice but pay the duties only. The Commissioner General reserves the right to allocate vehicles to individuals and institutions upon request for consideration and not any other person. Mm -hmm.